The man put to death by Missouri this morning had no final words. Joseph Paul Franklin was executed after the U.S. Supreme Court rejected his final request for a stay. He didn't make any type of verbal or written statement before his death. The Department of Corrections says he was calm and cooperative. Franklin was accused in 22 murders, but his execution was for a murder outside a St. Louis synagogue. And a woman accused of stealing a couple of cats is now under investigation for hoarding more than 100. Now, Lynetta Wilkinson is out of jail tonight, but the investigation is still ongoing. Mitch Weber found out why it could take weeks to rescue all these animals. More than 24 hours ago, an anonymous tip came in that there were 20 cats living inside this home in the 6200 block of Northwest 68th Terrace. Well, Animal Control found that number was triple the amount. Tuesday night, Animal Control removed 48 cats and one dog. 24 hours later, the number of cats has grown to 60, and the rescue is going to be a slow moving process. A lot of the cats are in the basement. There are no lights down there, so our animal control officers are having a bit of a challenge to find the animals to be able to round them up and bring the, the rest of them out and take them to the shelter. The KC Pet Project is taking in all the confiscated cats. They expect the rescue could take a couple of weeks because of the condition of the house. There's actually holes in the houses so the cats are able to go in and out as they please so that's going to make dra uh, trapping the cats difficult. The city has since closed down this house because of unsanitary conditions inside. The KC Pet Project says the majority of the cats will be adoptable by this weekend. Reporting in the Northland, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.